the weather forecast. My message to you this morning is the weather forecast. I bring you the forecast of heaven this morning. Because yesterday when I was praying and preparing for this service, I had in my spiritual ears a sound of abundance of rain. A sound of abundance of rain. I bring you the forecast of heaven. There is a sound of abundance of rain in the atmosphere. Everywhere you go from this day forward, carry your spiritual umbrella. Because suddenly, heaven will burst forth over you with abundance of rain. Church, I've not come to teach this morning. I've not come to preach this morning. I came with a prophetic voice from heaven. I bring the forecast of heaven for your information. Come on, tell your neighbor, for your information. There is the sound of abundance of rain. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 41. 1 Kings 18, 41. He said, and Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. This prophetic word from the mouth of Elijah signaled the end of captivity for Ahab and the children of Israel. Who have been waiting for water for over three and a half years. This was where what Ahab was waiting for, and he waited in vain for years. But with these words, the futile search for water came to an end. Infertility, hardship, and distress were over. This word signals God's visitation upon his precious people. Years of endless toil suddenly ended. There is a sound of abundance of rain. I don't know what scarcity there is in your life. I don't know what dryness there is in your life. But I bring you a word from above. I have a pastor friend who said when he started a church he will be bringing the word of God. One woman there say, he, she will always say, na lie. <laughs> na lie. Na so he did talk. <laughs> I pray you will not be <laughs> in the category of those who will say na so he did talk. Na lie. There is a sound of abundance of rain. Ecclesiastes 11.3 says, If the cloud be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. If the cloud be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. The cloud of this mantid is full of rain. Full of promises. Full of prophecies. Full of pronouncements. Full of healing. Full of financial breakthrough. Full of marriages, full of, of, you know, of promotion and lifting. It's full of children. And the heavens is rumbling for an opportunity to release abundance of rain. There are some rain that you will know that it's about to rain. And it will start small, small by, little by little. And it will increase. But there are some rain that you have no idea it's about to rain. The cloud will not give you any sound. And suddenly you just hear, Wah! you look as I was going on, it is raining. Before you close your eyes, in fact, the drainage is full. 
That's why in the realm, those who have ears, let them hear what the Spirit of God is saying. I came to speak to you last Sunday that you should prepare. Today I've come to tell you that suddenly heaven will burst forth over your life, over your destiny with abundance of rain and dryness will terminate over your destiny. As I was coming to church this morning, the Holy Spirit began to bring to my remembrance some of the promises that are hanging in the cloud. And they are about to burst forth. Amen. You remember when God said he would raise 10 million years to himself in this church? When I was coming to church this morning, the Holy Spirit told me that three of us, three of us out of that 10 will be in church today. I don't know the remaining two that are here today. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit told me that three of us out of the ten will be in service today. Believe me. If the camera can capture the face of everybody in church, capture it. Because when the three of us will show up, we will play the video of today's service. And you will see our faces that we are truly here. Maybe the remaining seven will be in next Sunday service. Or maybe Wednesday service. Oh, you are all here? Well, God just told me three today. <laughs> Come on, shout hallelujah. If a tree be cut down, the Bible says, through the scent of water, it will bud again. And it is not just the scent of water that is coming. It is abundance of rain that is coming. We are trees. The Bible says we are trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. In John eleven thirty nine, 39, Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he had been dead for four days. In 2 Kings chapter 7, he said, then Elisha said, hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, tomorrow by this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. The one whose king, whose hand the king lies, says, even if God will create a window in heaven, it is not possible. At times, when profound word of eternal impact comes, situation looks as if it is impossible. Martha said, by this time he thinketh, he stinketh. The man said, even if God will create a window in heaven, it is not possible. But hear ye the word of the Lord. There is a sound of abundance of rain. The song says, until we are wet, until we are soaked, with the latter rain. The time of wetting and soaking in the latter rain has finally come. Amen. Get your spiritual umbrella ready anywhere you go. Because suddenly, without notice, you will just see heaven upon your life will begin to pour down rain. Amen. There are three things that you must do. Number one, there must be tillers of ground. You must make yourself a tiller of ground. In Genesis 2, five, Genesis chapter 2, verse 5, it says, And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, for the Lord had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. For those of you who are familiar with farming, when it rains, on the a, on a, on a ground that is not tilled, the rain does not profit the ground as much. Because the ground is tough, it's hardened, there's no room for the rain to penetrate. And you will see the rain will begin to flow away from that land. And instead of positive impact, at times it causes negative impact. It will wash away the nutrients. 
Farmers who are expecting rain, what they do is they till their ground in expectation of the rain. So the ground of your destiny, the ground of your life, the ground of your marriage, the ground of whatever, whatever ground you are allotted in life, please till them. Choir, till your ground. Amen? Till your ground. So that when instrumentalists begin to reign into the house, when soloists begin to reign, when anointed singers begin to reign, you are able to hold them that they will not wash off again. Is it making sense? So that illustration with the choir should bring it home with every one of you. In your groups, in your departments, in your business, in your family, in your career, in your marriage. Till your grant. Till your grant. Whatever business you are doing, till your grant. Because there is about to be abundance of rain. Tilling involves clearing. To till, you have to clear first. Clearing. Please clear your land. Clear your life. Clear your heart. Clear your brain. Clear your emotions. Clear your walk with God. Clear your prayer life. Everything that, is, that has combated your land, clear it. So that you'll be able to profit maximally from the rain. Clear your ground. I said in first service, when words like this are coming from the altar, you know what we do? We place it in a window. Instead of placing it in a mirror. When you place the word of God that is coming to you in a window, you will see every other person that the word is talking about. Except yourself. But when you place the word in, in, as a mirror in front of you, you see yourself and no one else. So don't let your mind begin to tell you now how many people the pastor is talking to. Ah, this message is for this brother. Oh, it's for this sister. How I wish he's here. How I wish he's here. Yeah, she really needs to clean her life. Oh, he really needs to clean. <laughs> Whereas God is saying, clean your life. Clean your life. Tilling involves clearing. There are so many things in our life right now that we need to clear off for this rain that is coming. Tilling involves breaking. Once you finish clearing the land, you break the land. You break it. You break it up. You break it up. Breaking. Breaking. There are so many things you need to break. Break your land. Break your ground. Unbelief. Break it. Disobedience. Break it. Stubbornness. Break it. Prayerlessness. Break it. Every form of sin. Sinful lifestyle. Break it. If you don't break those things up, the rain will not have room to, 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 to enter. Amen? Break your life. Break your ground. Break up your ground. Break up your ground. Break up your... Remember the parable of the sower? He said the sower went out to sow. The seed were the same. It is the ground that differs. And the interpretation, when you get, read a two chapter down, down what he gives interpretation. He said the ground is our heart. So break up the ground of your heart. When the word comes like this, he let him just finish saying his own. Let me, the service be over. Let me continue my, my lifestyle. No, break your ground. Tell your neighbor, please break your ground. Let it, let it come in. Let it come in. Let it come in. Don't barricade it. Don't barricade it. Don't barricade it. Don't block it off. Don't block it. Let it come in. Break it. Let it enter. Tilling is creating room. Create room for the rain, for the abundance of rain. Create room. Create room. Create room. Create room. There are too many things. There are too many junks. Get some out and create room for the rain. Create room. There's too much telephone conversation going on. Too much texting. 
going on. Too much television. Too much movies. Too much weekend celebration. Bad day here, naming ceremony there, this and that. that. You are the whole, everywhere you are there. Please, create room. Tell your neighbor, create room. Our youth, create room. There's too much texting. Too much texting. Facebook. My children, they say unlimited texting. That is just put unlimited, unlimited text on our, on our package. Unlimited text. That's the first thing they requested for when we're changing the family plan. Create room, amen? Yeah. Create room. You cannot profit from rain when there's no room to collect it. Because rain doesn't last forever. It falls for a while and it will cease again. And fall for a while and cease again. Those of us who grew up from the urban centers, from the urban centers, where pipe bomb water does not go around, it's a luxury. What we rely on mostly is rainwater. The house, the roof is designed to collect it. To collect it. And you have drums. You have buckets. You line them up. Just one rain like this, we gather as much as possible. And we do not exhaust it until another rain. So create room. To collect the rain. Some of you are too young to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Grew up in London. Don't know how to collect rain from, from the roof. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God said, Moses, behold, I will rain bread from heaven. If God can rain bread from heaven, he can rain anything. He can rain anything. God can rain healing from above. He told his children one day when they were going to battle, he said, look, you will not even see rain. You will not see wind at all. But the ditch you dig will be filled of water. There is the sound of abundance of rain. And God can, heaven can rain anything. Signs and wonders, miracles. Husbands, wives, new job. Promotion, ministries, gift of the Holy Ghost. God can rain anything. Whatever you need, the abundance of that rain is coming. Amen. Number two, you must be able to see the cloud. The first thing is, there must be a tiller of ground. The second thing is, you must be able to see the cloud. The reason why Elijah stayed that long is because his servant could not see the cloud. He said, go out and check. He said, nothing. Go out and check. He said, I don't see anything. The earlier you see the cloud of this rain, the earlier your own rain begins. God took Abraham out. He said, Abraham, as far as your eyes can see. There is a connectivity between what you see and what God wants to do. What you, what you do not see cannot be done. He told Jeremiah, he said, what do you see? Jeremiah said, I see an almond tree. He said, you have seen well. He said, now I will hasten to perform my work. Since you have seen it, I will rush it. You need to see first. The moment the servant came back and, I, and said, I saw a cloud like the hand of a man. Elijah said, now go and tell Ahab. It's all over. Now what do you see? And for you to see, you must focus well. If you don't focus well, you can't see. In what is going on in the world now, what do you see? Despite what is going on. What do you see? 
What are you focusing on? Don't focus on the problem. Focus on the promise. When you come to church, what is your focus? What do you come to seek in church? You have to see the cloud. You don't have to hear. You know, Elijah didn't tell his, his boy to go and listen whether he will hear. He said, go and watch if you will see. I have heard, brethren. If I didn't hear, I won't come and tell you. I've heard. I've pastored you for 12 years, going to 13 years. There's nothing to, there's nothing I want to prove before you anymore. I heard the abundance, the sound of the abundance of rain. Your part is to stay focused so that you can see. So that you can see the cloud. Don't be distracted. Don't let anything distract you. Focus well that you can see. That you can see. Number three. You must ask for the rain. Since the sound has been sounded in heaven, it is your responsibility to do what? To ask for the rain. And this afternoon, that's what we're going to do. We're going to ask for the rain. We're going to ask for the rain. Zechariah 10.1 Zechariah 10.1, he says, Ask ye of the Lord rain in time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. Stage one, he will give rain, make bright cloud and give rain to the field. Stage two, Leviticus 26.4. Leviticus 26.4. He said, Then I will give you rain in due season and the land shall yield her increase. Once the rain is given to the field, then the field will now yield her increase. Stage number three, Deuteronomy 11.14. Deuteronomy 11.14 says, That I will give you the rain of your land in his due season, the first rain and the latter rain, that thou mayest gather in the coin, the corn, and thy wine, and thy oil. A rain to water your ground. A rain to make the ground produce. And a rain for you to gather in your produce. These three categories of rain we're going to ask for this morning. Amen. And heaven will grant it. Amen. I say heaven will grant it. Amen. In First Samuel chapter 12, First Samuel chapter 12 verses 17 and 18, you will see where Samuel asked for rain and thunder. The Bible says God gave it. In James chapter 5 verse 17, Elijah said there should be no rain for three and a half years. There was none. And he said let there be rain and there was rain. These people are like, people of like manner, like you. There is tremendous power and authority packaged in this creature called human being that God has packaged in our tongues. This afternoon, I want to lead us to ask for rain three times. And please, I want you to pray with the whole of your heart. You can see that the message is over. Because it's a prophetic message. It's not a teaching. It's not a preaching. But we are going to pray. The authority to bring rain and short rain is in man. Is in man. There are situations and circumstances when heaven will be loaded with rain like this. And men, either men of God, either children of God, or children of Satan, they will stand and say it will not rain and it will not rain. In the country where I came from, Nigeria, I'm from Nigeria in Africa. If you are not a child of God and you have events, most of the event is not in uh, event centers where you it's outside, open air event. You are not a child of God and you have such events, you have to go and give money to the rainmakers and beg them so that they will not make rain during your event. And if you don't give them money and you are not a child of God, from the hour your event is supposed to start till the end of it, rain will be falling. And the same set of people in the kingdom of darkness, you will see cloud like this. Heaven wanted to give rain, but because they have been given money, that rain must not fall. They will go and gather 
and say the rain must not fall and the rain will not fall. How much more we, the children of the most high God, that God has given authority over the works of his hands. It is not just water alone that can be rained. Bread can be rained. Healing can be rained. Deliverance can be rained. Success can be rained. Marriage can be rained. Do you know that this morning after we pray for rain, God just said, there is somebody with urinary problem. And that you are here. So that, the rain of that healing just dropped in the midst of our prayer. Heaven can rain anything. And the rain of first service is what some of you in second service already partook when you came. That's why God already touched somebody with breathing problem. And somebody with trachea, I mean, throat problem. As we pray again, you will see that more rain will fall. Amen. That people who are not even here in the service with us will partake of. Amen. Get ready to pray. There was a year as a farmer. I love farming. So I had a farm in a village. And there was no rain that year. So all the farm produce was going to be destroyed. And we took loan from the bank. There was a bank that is making provision for a small loan for farmers. So I organized the loan for the, all the farmers in the village. So they all loved me. So that rain, there was no rain, and our produce were, were going to be destroyed. So they came to me. They said, I can wait. There's no rain this year. And usually what we do is that when there's no rain like that, we gather money, and we go and worship, you know, this idol. So that rain will fall. So that our farm produce will not be destroyed. So I said, Baba, thank you, but I can't partake of that. I'm a child of God. Ah, they say, I can't wait. don't do that, don't do that. You don't understand that. See, because in the past, anybody who abstained, what happened is that rain will fall on the farm of every other person except that person's farm. He said, so please, don't do that at all. I said, no, sir, I can't partake of it. I cannot do that. They said, well, we, we will see. You will learn. So next year, you will, jo you will join us. And they gathered money and went and made sacrifice to that idol. And the following week, rain fell only on my farm. No other farm in that community. This is not fable. I'm te my wife is a living witness. I tell you the truth. Rain fell on my farm only. Every other farm, no rain. And they came to me and said, what happened? I said, I went to also consult my own rainmaker. So they said, how can I say follow up? Just come on Sunday. I will take you there. And then on Sunday, some of them came. So when they saw that it was church, I was leading them to. Some of them got angry and went back. <laughs> but some, went, some stayed in the church that Sunday. Amen? Why am I saying that? In the realm of the spirit, ability to make rain is given to man to call forth rain. And if physical rain can be called forth, spiritual rain can be called forth. What is not possible in the realm of the spirit is not possible in the physical. If there is drought over your life in the realm of the spirit, even if rain falls and flood your house, nothing will happen. There will be no effect. It must rain spiritually first before it begins to rain whatever it is that is needed in the physical. Let's rise up on our feet this afternoon. And let's spend some quality time to pray. The power of life and death is in the tongue. This afternoon you are going to call forth rain. He said, ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright cloud and give them showers of rain. Say, I will give rain in due season. I will give rain for you to bring in your, 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 your wine, your oil, and your corn. You are going to cry, Father, my cloud is full. And the Bible says when the cloud is full of rain, it empties, empties it on the earth. Let the 
rain in the cloud of my life begin to empty upon me. Let it begin to empty over me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, the Bible says, if the cloud is full of rain, it empties on the earth. The cloud of my life is, is full. My cloud is full. My cloud is loaded. My cloud is loaded. Lord, let it begin to rain. Let it begin to rain over my life, over my destiny, over my health, over my finances, over my marriage, over the church, over the ministry. Over our children, over our youth, over the singles. Let it begin to rain over the men, over the women. Let it begin to rain in the name of Jesus. There is a sound of abundance of rain. There is a sound. There is a sound. There is a sound of abundance of rain. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, let there be rain. Let the rain begin. Let the rain begin. Let the rain begin. The reign of healing, the reign of souls, the reign of souls, the reign of souls in the name of Jesus. Reign of deliverance, reign of deliverance, reign of deliverance, reign of peace, reign of joy, reign of the power of God, reign of the anointing of God, reign of the gift of the Holy Ghost. Let there be reign of God, reign of approval. Rain of, of contracts. Rain of businesses. Rain of success. Let it begin to fall. 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 Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. There is a forecast in heaven that rain is ready. Over my own life, let it begin to come. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Let there be rain. Father, in the name that is above every other name, there is a forecast of heaven. There is a forecast of heaven. There is a forecast of heaven that rain is ready to fall. Let abundance of rain begin to fall over situations, over circumstances in the name of Jesus. Let heaven release rain. 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 Rain of the power of God. Rain of the abundance of God. Rain of the glory of God. Rabosha Kalaba. As we till our ground, O oh God, as we clear our life, O oh God, as we make room for this rain, let it begin to fall. Let it begin to fall. Let it begin to fall. There shall be drought no more. There shall be no more dryness. The rain that is from above, let it begin to fall, O oh God. And make the grass flourish and make them bring forth fruit, O oh God. Make our life flourish. And make them bring forth fruit to God, that our life will no longer be barren. The fruit of the Spirit will begin to spring forth in our life. Let there be rain, 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 let there be rain. Let there be rain. Let there be rain. We command the clouds to begin to rain. To begin to rain. To begin to rain. Ah, to begin to rain. 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 Rabobo Shatalabaha. Yabababa Shitelebo. Yerebo Shatalabaha. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 